hello, my name is Matthew, and um, we are now on the second shelf of my tiny house library tour, and so we'll just start. And the first book that we have is Old Mortality by Sir Walter Scott. It's another Walter Scott novel, and this is a Scottish historical novel. It's a part of uh, Walter Scott's uh, Waverly series. Uh, I think his first novel was um, called Waverly, and it was uh, published anonymously because he didn't want to taint his good name as a poet. <laughs> um, and uh, like many of his novels, th this one is another uh, historical novel. He's one of the, from what I understand, either one of the creators or um, masters of the historical novel um, as we know it. And the second book is The Gilded Age by Mark Twain and Charles Dudley Warner. And this is a um, modern library edition. And I love, I love reading uh, Mark Twain. I, th I think uh, he's a brilliant satirist and a great writer and thinker. Uh, he just had incredible insight into um, the ridiculousness of human nature. Um, this is a society uh, satire looking at uh, politics and uh, business of, of the day. It's, it's quite good. I remember uh, some parts uh, being quite funny. There's a lot of funny parts. And we have um, The Robbers and Wal Walton. Wallenstein by uh, Frederick Schiller. We just talked about the robbers uh, maybe a week ago. <laughs> okay. um, the Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas, a Penguin classic, giant book. And not only have I not read this, I have not read anything by Alexander Dumas. This is um, a major uh, blind spot in my interest in uh, French literature. I finally bought this um, at the beginning of last year. Um, Alan from The Book Traveler um, had, had read it and was uh, just talking about how terrific it was. So I, I finally got myself a copy. I, I'll hopefully, um, maybe I'll read it, read it this year. Okay. Uh, the Essential Writings of Ralph Waldo Emerson. This is another modern library, great collection. And um, th this is one of those kind of books that I like to keep out or um, pick up very often uh, to open up to a random page and just read uh, selected um, essays. Um, I, I tend to turn to Emerson um, almost exclusively over Thoreau. I, I just um, get along with his line of thinking. It's very um, clear. Okay. Uh, Toilers of the Sea by Victor Hugo, modern library classic. Um, th this is probably my favorite novel by Victor Hugo. I, I love um, seafaring and mariner type uh, stories. And this is a great adventure story and has romance and um, larger than life characters and all of those um, uh, digressions that you expect from Victor Hugo, but it's controlled. It, it's still a really tight novel um, in the same way that um, The Hunchback of Notre Dame is a really tight novel. Um, well, I'll show you this. It's a DVD of Casino, uh, one of Martin Scorsese's uh, gangster movies, a time, um, the beginning of uh, the birth of Las Vegas, starring Robert De Niro, Sharon Stone, Joe Pesci. I like gangster movies. And then we have uh, the selected writings of Thomas Jefferson. It's a modern library classic as well. And I, I, I've had a hard time um, 
reading and getting into Thomas Jefferson, um, I, I he's obviously he, he was obviously um, a, a good a good writer and thinker and wrote um, critically on a wide variety of subjects. Um, but it always feels so dry. Um, I, I just feel like I'm not the intended audience for many of these things. They're, they're not. It really feels like they're not made to have any entertainment value. Um, so, yeah, I, I haven't really read much of this, and haven't had much interest after I got it. Uh, another, another Mark Twain. Uh, book. This is A Tramp Abroad, modern library classic. And th this is where I think Mark Twain excels, um, writing these nonfiction travel logs. Uh, I, th I think he's much more successful um, in that type of writing compared to almost any of his novels. Uh, for as much as I think he's a great writer and thinker and satirist. I really do think he's a flawed novelist. Every novel that I've read by him just has pacing or plotting or character issues that are quite troubling. Um, okay, we have uh, a Russian. We have uh, Fathers and Sons by Ivan Turgenev. And uh, let's see, who translated this? doesn't easily say, but it's um, Fathers and Sons. It's a, um, a g generational nihilist uh, novel. It's, it's um, uh, dark and thought-provoking and humorous um, and very, very Russian. And uh, let's see, I'm more of a modern uh, contemporary writer. We have Let's Explore Diabetes with Owls, uh, Essays and Etc. by David Sedaris. It's a great cover. And uh, I've been a fan of David Sedaris. I, I, I just, um, uh, every time he has a new book out, I, I, I really um, I just want, want to uh, follow along with his, his life and personality and uh, read about his thoughts. And then um, we have the Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu. This is a Signet classic. Um, and this is a really great addition. It'll have, oops, can you see that? So it has um, the, the poems, and then it'll have um, a um, kind of a compressed paragraph uh, in prose uh, explaining or uh, uh, summarizing uh, the poem. So it, it kind of gives you the message in a few different ways. It's very helpful. Let's see. Uh, the Brothers Karamazov by Fyodor Dostoevsky, and this is uh, a vintage classic by, uh, translated by uh, Richard Peaver and Larissa Volonkonsky. Uh, one of my favorite novels, Th this edition, I could probably easily get rid of. Um, I, I never pick up, um, uh, I, ne I just don't, I just don't read this one. And uh, I have several translations and a few that I prefer a lot more. Um, the Selected Poems of Ezra Pound, a New Directions paperback. Um, and I, I could probably get rid of this too. I never, uh, I never look at this. I never read it. Um, for as much as I <laughs> enjoy uh, scratching my head, <laughs> um, I, I, I just don't. I just don't turn to Ezra Pound. Uh, I do have his Cantos, which is something I would keep, I guess. Uh, Mal Tu by Don DeLillo. This is a postmodern novel. Uh, I read this in one of the few um, literary or English classes that I took in college. I took a whole course on um, postmodernism. This is one of the books that we read. It was also my 
introduction to Don DeLillo. Um, I remember not really liking it. So. <laughs> um, I've read other things by Don DeLillo that uh, I have liked. Let's see, I have a book on top. And this is uh, Poems by Robert Frost. Um, and I, I would say in the past five, four or five years, I've been, um, I, I had started reading Robert Frost. And um, for some reason, I, I feel like even though I knew who, knew his name, knew some of his poems, he was someone that I overlooked or uh, maybe even dismissed for a very long time. Uh, and there's no reason to. His poems are um, beautiful and memorable and comforting, welcoming. Uh, okay. uh, Twilight of the Idols by Friedrich Nietzsche. This is an Oxford World's classic translated by Duncan Large. Um, and it's more, uh, more of a, uh, Nietzsche's philosophy. It has all those all those like epigrams that he was writing. Uh, Babylon by Yasmina Riza. I just I, I think I read this like a year or two ago. Um, it's quite good. She also uh, wrote a screenplay that it was adapted into a movie called Carnage, and it's this. Um, I, I saw the movie and it, it was it was great. It's, it's just set in an apartment. It's almost like a um, um, a play in film. Just one, one location. All the characters are in a room. Um, creates all this tension and uh, drama and moves really quickly. There's lots of surprises. Okay, we, we uh, my last um, uh, bookshelf tour, we talked about George Sand. And so this is... Um, the letters, the letter correspondence between George Sand and uh, Flaubert, and I got this uh, in the maybe the middle of last year um, at a bookstore in Pennsylvania, and it was a huge find. Um, you might have heard me mention um, how I had difficulty finding other things to read by George Sand. This is. Um, the only other example that I've had, and I loved it. I love um, how their personality and writing style, um, and and their their friendship and uh, professional association, all comes to light. It's really interesting. Um, a great bedside uh, book. And okay, the la last book for this. Um, for this shelf. <laughs> it's uh, Answer to Job by C.G. Young. Let me show that. And what is this? Uh, Princeton Press University. Uh, it's, a, it's a really interesting premise. It's um, al almost like a psychological biography of um, the character Job and the story of Job in the Old Testament. Um, and I don't really remember anything about it, but I, uh, it, it, as far as the psychological insight, but I, I do remember it was just fascinating, um, kind of spending more time with that poor soul. <laughs> um, and so that's, that's all we have. Now, um, let me know what you think about this uh, bunch of books, if you have any um, thoughts or if you've read any of them or there are a couple that I said that I um, hadn't read or um, hadn't read as much of th things like that so um, let me know what you think and um, leave a comment if you would like thank you for watching and take care